Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sakal Prajapati and in this video, I will be talking about how we can create a schema of having array type of columns. Also, we can try to flatten, a, uh, we can say flatten a data frame, right? And we will see what is the difference between explode and explode underscore outer function, right? So let's get started for today's video. Before going to that, I would like to introduce my course that is Deep Dive in Delta Lake using Databricks. Here, if you can see, this is my website www.geekcoders.co.in, and here you can see this is a complete course. You can see we are having two modules, 64 sessions, and 18 uh, around 19 hours of content available. So in module one, I have covered about deep dive into Delta Lake and that is around four hours of content. I have covered everything about what is necessary in the Delta Lake things, right? To learn the Delta Lake. And I have used PySpark and Spark SQL, both, the, both, both things to understand what is Delta Lake, you, you know, how we can implement Delta Lake in Databricks. You can see create a Delta table, generate column in Delta tables and so, so, so stuff. After that, I am having this model 2 where I have implemented end-to-end -end project. You can see this project contains, I mean, total 14 hours of content and 43 sessions. You can see architecture of the video of the project, understand the requirement, create blob storage, like, you know, from end-to-end, -end, I have tried to explain you in this video, in, in this course. And if you want to understand what is the architecture, what I am going to do in this project and so, then you can watch this video. Okay, this is a free video on available on YouTube, so you can watch this video. Chalo, now let's get started for the for this topic. So you can see here I have implement. I mean, I have written all these functions or libraries what are important, right? And this is my data. Now you can see this is one. This is saga. This is name. This is ID, and this is a kind of you know kind of marks right 20 marks in one subject 30 marks in another subject and 40 marks in in some another subject like 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 that you can you know you can consider now if i want to create a data frame on top of this then how i i can create i can create like this spark dot create data frame and i can pass here data right if i run this then you can see it does not have any i mean it did not return any column names as of now it returns like underscore one underscore two and underscore three now you can see underscore one is goes to you know long data type underscore two goes to you know string and the third one is like you know array and you can see it has been having an element uh, and then that is present in long data type now what i can do can't i write a schema like this what we used to do id integer name string name string and i can't i you know write like this array or something like this if i you know if i just write here array then we'll see whether you know whether it's working or not <coughs> yes it is working well now if i do display now we'll see what is the result you can see we have this result right and we have this result we have this result right so uh, ideally how i mean you can see this is not a not a array now right this is not a array i need to store these things in an array correct so for that what i can do i can let's say give here marks something like that and if i give here array array of a string something like this we'll see will will it work or not oh get in an error okay let it be just remove this now we'll see now it is running no the definition of array type is incomplete like this i need to pass okay can i pass like this now you can see it is working fine right it is working fine but you can you you can and you can understand one thing suppose i need to I need to pass, I, I need to restrict this column, I need to add some constant like whether this column, this ID column has to be in null or ha, ha, I mean uh, this ID column can have null values or not. At that time what I need to do, I need to, I need to write here a struct type and a struct field, uh, you know, a schema, right. So, um, so what I can do, see this is first way to do and second way to do is like this, a schema, a struct s should be capital first struct type 
and then we have a struct field right now a struct type outer side then we have a struct field so a struct field means you know i am pass i have passed this id in right so i will pass the same thing in this struct field itself so make it one list over here and this a kind of function it will take first argument as a column name so column name is id right and second argument is the data type so i am passing here integer integer type comma 2 now i am saying this value this id column can have null value hence i passed here 2 likewise what i can do i can copy this and uh, control c con oops comma control v comma control v here i will replace with to name and uh, here i will give a string type see why i am telling you you know what step by step and so that you will understand it easily otherwise i would have you know just write it written this code and you know run this command we have this marks and now see now i have passed here actually a string this should be an integer okay so here i will do array array of type and i can pass array this array contains only a only e numbers numbers right so i am passing here a string type and let's say i am making this as false if i make it a fair false then i cannot i mean this name column cannot have null value right a bracket close and then this close this bracket this bracket Hmm. Now it is okay. Cool. So instead of you know instead of instead of passing this schema, you know what we have written. If I have written over here like this, then it should work. You can see we have the same thing, right? Cool. Now what I am saying, hey, this is coming as a array, right? I need to then convert these things into a marks like I, I need to flatten this array then how i could do that see this is id my id i am saga Pachapati. i am i am i am studying in one of the university right and there is a marks called 20 30 40 let's say cs marks ec marks or some other subject math marks or physics marks whatever right now i want to actually flatten this so how it should be like I will be having three rows per ID per student right so here we will use explode function so explode function what does it, does it mean is that explode will return each and every individual value from an array so see we have 20 we have 30 40 it will return each and individual value if the array is empty or null it will ignore and go to the next array in the array in an array type column in PySpark data frame what does it mean let's understand i can write df dot select id id can be capital uh id ke baad what we have name right name and then i can write here explode okay explode and here i can pass marks let's show it You can see we have we uh, the data looks like this might be this is not looking very good to you so i can write here display instead of show now you can see we have the data like this one this is me one saga my name is and first marks 20 then 30 then 40 right then second some other person like maybe you and you are having you scored 40 20 and 10 like this right Okay. now let me change the data set now data is looking like this we are having for this john he did not apply for an exam you can understand you, you you can think of it and for kim he did not or she did not apply for the third exam so hence the value is null null over here now if i 
you know run this thing again and if I just try to expand this so you will see we do not have John ka ID right John you know we do not have John ID or John row right and for this four we are having null that is fine see in this uh, function you know I have written that if the array is empty or null it will ignore so now we are not including John here so maybe when you do some calculation or some you know writing some business logic you you I mean your business logic can be wrong right because of you are excluding the person right who's having null May, might be you have to analyze like that you know you have to you have to take each and every person you do not need to filter it out right then in that case we will use outer explode underscore outer function so what I'll do I'll just copy this copy ho gaya, right? and I'll paste it over here and here I will use outer now you will see everything is same we have the third ID third John and here it is showing null now if you want to replace this value null 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 with zero right zero you can you you can expect zero then you can do it otherwise you cannot you know uh, and if you aggregate this then your result might be different your result might be different right so this is the way how you should actually use explode and explode outer i would suggest always use explode outer you, you should not use explode function otherwise your result might be different and you might be filter you 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 might filter some of the data you know because you you do not know whether you are receiving an empty empty you know empty values or empty array from the list or not right now yeah you can see I have imported these two functions explode explode outer and then I have imported these stuck type stuck field and what are the you know data type I am going to you know I have used over here so there are two ways to do I have explained you right you can either write now it doesn't look very good so just go to here and format cell right now it is looking very good and uh, apart from this what you can do what you can do what you can do uh, yeah nothing else right so see uh, what I can do if I make this none you will see it returns an error saying that it cannot be null field name field name this field is not nullable but got none you know? so I cannot actually pass over here null hence this is the reason why we should follow this approach otherwise you know if suppose in your company if they are I mean we are not adding some constant right on the column names on the column names of the schema side then you can use a simple version you know that a that a Python list version or Python string version right the way what I have you know written before let like, like this schema is equal to uh, ID ID will integer and then uh, uh, what name is a string and then array array of a string or array of integer like this you can apply okay both are good it's up to you what you wanna follow right and for now let's end this so that you know it won't yeah now it is looking good right and this is only the Thing I have it I have mentioned in this article we had discussed explode and explode outer applied on array type column in the data frame with two different examples. explode and explode outer will perform some action when all the values in the array are not null if any value in an array is null explode will ignore that null value but explode underscore outer will consider and return null value whenever null value is present in the array okay so i hope that you have understood this and please do not forget to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends and please try to watch that course or you know click on that course and you know understand the architecture if you have liked that video and you know if you're liking that video you can go and check out the price and all and then you can take that course already i guess 200 students have 
no take in that course and uh, i guess 90 percent students have liked it right so you can go it and you know just try to build that project i am definitely sure that if you are liking this video you will love that video or love that course okay chalo thank you bye bye